<laughs> we are going to react to that one, of course. Oh my god. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amas. I'm a Nigerian-based YouTuber. Precisely, I stay in Port Harcourt. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so and like and comment on this video. So today, as you can see, I'm with a guest. My junior brother is here with me. And my brother today will be talking about politics. We'll be looking at his perspective on politics and He's going to be introducing himself first. So, can you please introduce yourself? Introduce myself. Huh? Yes, it's your name, everything. So, what's your name? What do you do for a living? All of that. Um. Okay, my name is Boniso Buana. You can call me Harry. Um, I'm a 500 level law student of Madonna University, Okijana, Bra State. Um, I mean, mini, 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 mini content creator on TikTok. Please follow me. I beg. Thank you. Okay, can you tell us your handle? My handle is Onisobuana. That's O N I S O B U A N A. Okay, do you have an Instagram handle? I, my Instagram is private. Instagram. Okay, so that's TikTok. I can tell you he, he's a Gen Z. So I told you before he's a Gen Z. So, so and he's a law student. So we are going to be talking about politics, especially the governorship election that is coming up very soon on the 18th of march so junior a law student mm -hmm. and we have been seeing different clips of um gruv going to the market in lagos that got burnt and giving them 15 million so we are going to be reacting to some videos of sanolu i don't know what that man is doing so we are going to be reacting to some videos today of Son Lu licking ice cream. So we are going to watch the video now. Then he's going to give us his own perspective on what is happening, especially in Lagos, because of election. Some people are doing things we we will not understand. So let's watch the video. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome, sir. Long, long, long time. I think we're going to be on that. We're small boys then, huh? We're small boys. We'll go there and go train again. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where's the door? Yes, I spoke to you. Yeah, I know, though. Yes, I spoke to you. Yes, I spoke to you. Yes, I spoke to you. <laughs> I don't understand which kind of a familiarity PB that what's he trying to do? <laughs> He's trying to get to gather votes now. Ah, that's what Peter will be has taught them a new way of doing politics now. You don't understand. Mm -hmm. He has taught them a new way. So so in general, what 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 do you think that Sam Lu was doing? What did he? He's uh, did you hear about the I don't know if you're going to react to it too. Did you hear about the one that I went to church or something? Yes, we are going to react to that one now. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to react to that one of course. Oh my god. I the, don't Okay, anyways. Mm. So in your own perspective, what do you think? Do you think that obedience are buying into what Sound Lu is doing? Hell no, because he's rich at this point. It's not like he used to do these things before all mm -hmm. of a sudden piao, he started doing it like he just wants to win the election so, so badly. badly and because this guy um, what's his name peter will be did something like this but it's almost genuine by the way mm -hmm. did something like this and he won the heart of the people in things saying go feel in the heart of the people like the church they know invite you they go to <laughs> make you make sense now uh, how <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, he has said it all. So we are going to be reacting to the next video of Sao Lu shaking people. Sao Lu turn or shall. <laughs> Sao Lu turn or shall last week Sunday. Like, I wish I was at the Harvester's church. That's the church he went to. He was just shaking people. Ah! One guy even said that he will force her to snap picture. Ha! Wala de, wala de. So let us react to the video. We'll be right back. So, him being in the church, what do you think? Shaking people. He's reaching, like I said, he's re he's too much because at this point he's clearing that he's trying to get the 
roots of the people he's trying to get on the people's side. After he says, okay, um, whereas before, don't they mm. amass people, don't they, you know, mm-hmm. they come out for him. He now wants to, since he wants to go for a second term now, and the way things are looking, he might not win the governorship mm-hmm. election. He now wants to, you know, by all means, make I enter this place. Because uh, why would they come out from church and go for, uh, what if I don't want to shake you? What if I don't want to shake you? Now, by, is it by force? And it was possible to snap picture of me and me, I was... Uh, <laughs> well, you are not my father. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my father safe, not someone. Oh, yeah, my mother safe. Then, me, I don't even... I will not hear that he's not even from Lagos State, too. Are you serious? That he's from Ogun State. Can you imagine? And you are living on other people... You are living in another state, like... God for that reason is what is in Lagos. Like, Lagos is fully God for that reason. No, no, no. So... Tinuba has been the one, he's just a puppet there. Tinuba has been the one putting people there to govern. Like what happened to Ambode? Ambode did only one term and he left because he did not want to do their serer and rein. So the last thing we are going to be talking about is um, Desmond Elliott getting, I think, transformers for his constituency. Eight as in Suli. Uh, yes, thank you. Eight transformers for his. So he called us kids. Last time during answers, so we are going to talk about it. What's your reaction? How will you react to? How are you reacting to? <laughs> the smile of by eight transformers. What he has not done since he has. Do, I think they said he has done eight years, and he wants to come back again. So, what do you think? Eight transformers in one week. In one week. Eight. That means he has money. He has not even built. See, see the toilet now. Toilet. You see the bridge. Rubbish. This is the only tangible thing he has done for his people. Mm-hmm. Do you think That's his people is going to vote for him? No, no. If they have sense, so if they have, if sense. They have sense, because we will saw videos of people, <laughs> APC, some sense. some women, they voted on credit. On cre- exactly what I'm saying. If they have sense, because they voted on credit. <laughs> Why are they for this country? Ah, God. For Why real, are they? Too real, too real. So, and for me, I don't think his people will get um. Co- um vote him in this period because he has been doing so much lately and i don't understand what he's doing so um that's it i don't think he's going to they're going to vote for him he's mm. just wasting his time then unless he's going to rig it like the exactly, way you know exactly I ne- I ne- after after you fear god I ne- <laughs> uh-huh. so We've come to the end of this video. If you have not watched my other video on how APC has been begging, PDP has been begging obedience to vote for them, please, I'm going to link this video to this other one so that you can watch it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please kindly do so. Please, please. We are seeing my brother is begging. Please, please oh, subscribe, like, and comment in on this video. And I want to thank my brother since I've been dragging him to do this video with me. And he fulfilled his promise today. So thank you very much for coming, Junior. So I'll see you in my next video.